Beatable Master says hi guys. Unbeatable Master says today I will be showing you the new snapshot and older nether thingy. Unbeatable Master says just kidding. <laughs> yep. Uh, so today we will be doing just that. Um, yeah. I don't know if that actually worked. If it did, then... I know what I'm gonna be doing, um, but today, this is what we're here for, so, let's just start with the older stuff here, um, just to get started, so we've got the, like, the weeping, and like, crimson, so the weeping vines, which I think look pretty cool, then we've got the crimson, um, nylium, then the roots, fungus, the planks, uh, like the grass sort of, which is the nylium. And we've got the hyperhea, and then the crimson stem, the button, pressure plate, fence, yeet, and everything like that. What I also like is the door. The door is fascinating. Oh, I should get like a level up for that. <laughs> The door is amazing, like every other door. Um, and then we've got the newer one, which is the warped version. So everything is the same, just warped. So you've got the warped roots. Um, the only difference is that we don't have crimson um, roots, sprouts. We don't have crimson sprouts yet. I don't know if they're going to come or if I've just missed them. Let me just check. Crimson Spur no. So there's no crimson sprouts, but there's nether sprouts, which I thought they were warped sprouts, but I guess not. So, um that's uh, uh, like those sort of things. Um here we've got um so in the new biome, um it was in the last snapshot. There's a basalt biome where you can find, obviously, basalt. I think that might be pretty obvious. Um, so, and then in a crafting table, you can see that, I think, if you do that, you get polished basalt, which is this block here. It looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. So that's the basalt sort of thing. And what I like to say with these two is that it's like cobblestone. Because everything has its own, um, like, block, except the polished blackstone wool. Because it isn't a stone wool. Um, so I just left that one out. Um, so the normal blackstone is cobblestone, stone polished, stone brick, obviously it's just stone brick, cracked stone brick, and then another cracked stone brick. And I think that this chiseled um, blackstone, like polished blackstone, like brick sort of thing is really cool because it has like a face sort of, so that, that eye, that eye, and then the mouth. I think that looked pretty cool when I laughed there the first time. This is just the normal chiseled stone bricks. And then we also have like the stairs as well. So the cobblestone stair matches just the normal blackstone stair. The stone brick, stone brick, and the um, stone with the polished. And it's just the same here, just with slabs, pressure plate, buttons walls except i don't have one for the polished blackstone wall so that is a, lit a little bit unfortunate um so again the brick walls with brick walls and then they're just normal blackstone with the cobblestone that was a mouthful <laughs> anyway the next thing that i want to show is 
there's now crying obsidian. So, with this flint and steel, normally, I think most people know, but you can create just a nether portal like that. But, unfortunately, with a crying obsidian portal, you can't actually make it a portal. It's just going to be burning. Just like as if you just put it on gra glass. And it also is the same... So if you have one block which is crying obsidian, it pro most likely detects that the whole portal is um, crying obsidian. So it also won't let you create a portal. But as soon as you put that spare obsidian down, you've got yourself a portal. So I'm just going to break them just so pigmen don't start spawning. And we can just move on. Here we have like the torches in the campfire. So there's the normal torch, which we all normally use. Um, the redstone torch is for like redstone doors, um, stuff like that. And then the soul torch, which is a new one. You can leave me alone, please. Thank you very much. Then you've got the two campfires, the normal and the soul. Same with the lanterns. They're the same. So the soul and then the normal. And with the portal um, sort of thing, so you can't create a crying obsidian portal. What I did over here is made like a circular portal, which isn't possible normally. But I also made it out of crying obsidian and a mixture between that and the normal obsidian. Just so people, you know, think that it is the crying obsidian portal because if we just travel over here it looks like that that is the portal and i just did a little bit of decoration around the outside just because i felt like it uh, and i think it would really fit the theme of the nether update now this is actually really interesting i found this really interesting when i first found it so the soul soil is basically normal blocks. So I can sprint across it, no problems, and I'm not wearing any boots. And then the soul sand is like, it makes you go slower. So if you're like, just walking across, it goes really slow. Running is a bit faster, and I think most people without these special boots the soul speed boots um run across and like jump because that's the most efficient way to get across without soul speed and that actually really interested me in the soul soil and soul speed things because this is obviously soul speed so that means that when you put them on so there you go it doesn't it does something on here, on the soul soil, even though that if we take the boots off, we're still the a normal speed. Because I'm running, and I'm just the same speed. That act, that really in, did interest me. So, then the soul speed 1 on these makes you pretty more, it makes you a lot faster. Soul speed 2 makes you really fast. And which um which I have on the um let's play series. The Soul Speed 3, which I'm using for my paths around my base. So that is like the big wow that I actually went across. That even on Soul Soil without these you go the same speed as normal running, but with the Soul Speed boots, you go even faster. So let's just put them back in there. So, um, something that was also introduced in the nether update was these. So, the gilded blackstone and the nether gold ore. Normally, with this gold ore, you'd have to kill a pigman with a smite five sword to just make sure that they don't, you know, everyone else comes around you. And then, you see, they drop the golden nugget that so the golden nugget there then if i got myself a pick axe just get another pickaxe 
Now let's go into game mode survival and mind this. You can see here you get gilded blackstone. I don't know how. I think you have to smelt that. But then with normal, you just get some golden nuggets. So the golden nuggets just flow into your inventory. And from eight, we got almost 29 nuggets. I mean, we did get 29 nuggets, almost 30. This gilded blackstone uh, mines a lot faster. But it does have... Um, but it, I think you have to smelt it. I'm not too sure. I can... Um, uh, Put a, I'm probably gonna put a message up on the screen just saying you can or you can't just so that you would know now this is actually really interesting so all these hoes before you'd have to like hoe the ground to like put the crops on but now with this um, you actually mine these blocks significantly faster because without it it's pretty slow, not gonna lie. So, when you're going to the nether and you want to get these other warped wart blocks or the nether wart blocks, just make sure that you bring a hoe to destroy them. Um, so, yeah, the nether wart blocks just get almost, al almost instantly destroyed by the um, things. Should probably get out of survival mode for this but i'm not going to because i can so for this next one the gold ore and the netherite scraps which by the way you get from ancient debris you just do this and then bam you got yourself a netherite ingot that's how you craft it and probably almost the hardest block to get in the game. Um, I'm not sure if it's the hardest or not the hardest. Because you do need to mine a lot of netherite um, ancient debris. Because you need um, 4 times 9, which is 36. So you need 36 um, ancient debris. Which can only be spawned like once or twice in a single chunk. Um in like stacks of one or two um and they need 36 of them to make a one block imagine if you were gonna make like almost a small house you'd need like almost like a uh, 200 blocks 200 um ancient debris probably not even that because here what we have is just Simple with any sort of either diamond, emerald, iron, coal, um, lapis, redstone. They all go to the same thing. And then you can start building. Now this, if you got that, maybe just, even if you just got that, even if you just got like 15 blocks, that would still make you a pretty rich dude. Because of the difficulty to get the box. Now, this is another interesting thing. Um, I found out. So, how you make the netherite, like, stuff, you could say. Like, the gear. So, you put anything diamond into a smithing table. And then, it turns into a netherite um, thing. Netherite chest plate. There we go. So now you have two netherite things you can use on anything. And what happened last time that you did this in the last um update slash snap slap snapshot was if you put a diamond sword with any sort of enchantments, it would come out with no enchantments. And now it comes out with all the enchantments on armor and tools. Um, and I think that would help a lot of people because before you would have to get um, more enchantments and another block that really interested me are these chains because on the bottom of the lanterns you can see that it has like a small chain 
sort of thing. So these chain blocks like lead off um, the lantern. So if I go into, into uh, game mode creative. there you can see that i've got the lantern there and then the chain you can also put it like that i think you would do something like that maybe and i and that i think maybe what they could do is make them to like connect i think that would be pretty cool um so if you have like a lantern like that and then a chain on top they would just connect so it's like a big chain bit thing um and what when you mine these they also have a nice um like sound effect if you can hear it so yeah that's sort of the sound that it makes when you break it i'm not too sure if you can actually hear it or not but the next thing um, that I don't have to show, um, I think I've covered everything actually. So if you guys did enjoy this like shorter video, um, then make sure to like leave a like, comment, sub, um, all that stuff. If you wanna. Um, tomorrow or in a few days I might have a tutorial coming out on something or I might be able to do a an episode on the survival series um, there is a playlist to all of the episodes just in case you want to watch them in order um, you could also just search them but if you don't want to search them then you can just go to my playlists and it'll be there. So I will see you guys next time with a new video. Bye. Peace, boys.